Hi, this is Elisa, and I'm going to show you how to add guest speakers into a video discussion in your class using Flipgrid. I'm going to use the journalism class that I wrote about on the blog post, and as you can see, the students are participating in a module on social media. And so in that module, I created a discussion. But I'm not using the traditional discussion form within Canvas. This is actually an assignment. So when I go in and create an assignment, I put in all the instructions that I want for students to do to participate in this discussion. And I want them to make two posts in this video discussion. The second post, I want for them to watch the video that my guest speaker made, Sam Ferlino. So I asked Sam to make a video introducing himself and talking about how he uses social media both in his job at PVCC and in his personal life with his art. And so he gave the students a tour of his art studio at home that he is currently working in and also his art studio. I think it might be the same space. <laughs> but anyway, so here the students read the instructions and then at the bottom of those instructions they will see the Flipgrid. Now, in order to get the Flipgrid to show up in your Canvas assignment, you have to add it. So let's take a quick look at how I did that. So I'm going to go in and edit this assignment. And so when I set the assignment up, I gave it a title. I added in my template for my assignment, gave it a point value, and then I added external tool. And to add the external tool, I searched for Flipgrid and then chose Flipgrid. Once you choose Flipgrid, it will automatically add in this URL. Now, if you need to understand how to add Flipgrid to Canvas, either ask your CTLE or uh, I have a video that you can link to. Now, once I've added the external tool and the external URL is added to the assignment, I give it a due date and then I save it. Now, when we look at the assignment, after the instructions are listed, they will see the Flipgrid, they will see the title, the video that they were to watch, and then the students will be able to click a big green button and then add their responses. So you can see here that the students have added their responses. Now over on the Flipgrid website, which is where I am now, I set up my account and each time I link a Canvas course to Flipgrid, it will show up as a discussion or group in my Flipgrid account. So these are all the classes that I have linked to Flipgrid. And so for this particular class that I'm showing for this example, you can see that my students have 101 responses, uh, close to 4,000 views, 112 comments, and 33.6 hours of engagement. That's because they do one of these probably once every two to three weeks. So they've been doing it all semester. And so down below, I will see the five topics that have been assigned to my students, including the one on social media observations. Now, in order for my guest speaker to be able to see the comments and feedback that my students were addressing to him, I have to add him to my account as a co-pilot. Now you want to be careful if you do this because the co-pilot will have access to all of your topics and discussions. And as long as you are not grading these discussions in this tool, remember you'll be able to grade everything within Canvas. So you don't have to grade anything here. And so as long as you're not grading anything, you should feel comfortable adding anyone to this as long as you let students know that this person will be listening and watching their videos. So to add Sam to my group here, my class here, I had to add him as a co-pilot. And so there's a little airplane that you'll see in your account. And when you click on that, you're able to add someone as a co-pilot. Now they have to sign up for a Flipgrid educator account and all you need is the email address that they used. So I added Sam here as my co-pilot and so now I can see when I click on this that he is a co-pilot and then I can manage the co-pilots if I don't want him to stay in there I can delete him uh, when, when he's done adding his feedback. So what happens is Sam came in, clicked on this discussion he was able to then see and watch all of my students' videos and then leave comments. And so you can see here that Sam has left comments for these students. 
Now there's a lot, so I was only expecting for him to give me the answers to a couple of questions, and he did about 10 to 12 different comments. So it worked out really well that the students can now go back and, and view. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is Erica. Hello, Sam. Uh, thank you for showing us your workplace. Um, I like how you have everything set up there. Alright, so after Sam watched Erica's video and listened to her questions that she had towards the end, he was able to add a comment. And so there's Sam replying back to, to Erica. You can see his, his art studio in the background. He's a big Cubs fan and some of his artwork is there as well. And then Sam replies. Hi Erica, thanks for your, que um, your question. Um, so it works really well that he was able to go in and see that and then reply back to the students. You can also see that it doesn't use any of your students' last names. So you can see Sam F, Erica B. So you don't have to worry. I mean, I, tell, I told my students that their videos would be viewed by Sam and that I obviously view them but anything that they write and do for this class, they should be prepared to share publicly because it is a class on writing for online media. And the whole idea is that they are sharing with the world their, their content. So let me quickly show you how this looks back in Canvas and how you would grade it. Okay, so back in Canvas, you would click on the Speed Grader button to view Speed Grader. Okay, so I can see uh, Erica's videos right within SpeedGrader, and whenever they use a cell phone, they come out really big. <laughs> but anyway, so she made two posts, and then I can access both of those posts, and then I can give her a grade there, and I can also give her some feedback here as well. And then I just submit it, and the student will see it. If I wanted to leave a video, I can leave it here, but I could also go back to Flipgrid and leave the video response as well. So it's really easy to grade your student work in Canvas after they've made these videos.